Let's practice converting a decimal base 10 number to octal, hex, and binary using our iterative division algorithm. Um, so, just to practice, let's convert 68 in decimal to, first let's convert it to binary. Okay, so we're going to use our division algorithm. So we take 68, divide by 2, and we get 34 with a remainder of 0. Then we take 34, we divide by 2, we get 17 with a remainder of 0. Then we take 17, we divide by 2, we get 8 with a remainder of 1. And then we take 8, divide by 2, we get 4 with a remainder of 0. Then we take 4 and divide by 2, and we get 2 with a remainder of 0. Then we take 2 divided by 2, and we get 1 with a remainder of 0. And then we take 1 divided by 2, and we get 0 with a remainder of 1. So now if you remember, our iterative division algorithm stops when this result is equal to 0. And then to get our binary number, we're going to collect all the remainders from bottom to top. Okay, so I'm going to get this one. 0, 0, 0. 1, 2, 3. 1, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0. So that means that 68 in base 10 is equal to 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0 in base 2. Now let's convert that same 68 to octal. So we take our 68 in decimal, and now instead of dividing by 2, we're going to divide by 8, because octal is base 8. So 68 divided by 8 gives us 8 with a remainder of 4. Then we take that 8, and we divide by 8, and we get 1 with a remainder of 0. And then we take that 1, and we divide by 8, and we get 0 with a remainder of 1. The algorithm terminates when the last result is equal to 0. And then to get our conversion, we collect the remainders from bottom to top. So our remainders are 1, 0, 4. Therefore, 68 in decimal is equal to 104 in octal. Okay, so then the last one is hex. So we want to convert this same number to hexadecimal. What number are we going to divide by this time? If we divide it by 2 for going to binary, we divide it by 8 for going to octal, that means that if we want to convert 68 to hexadecimal, we're going to divide by 16 because hex is a base 16 number system. So I take 68 and divide by 16. That gives me 4 with a remainder of 4. Then I take this 4 and I divide by 16 and I get 0 with a remainder of 4. So then I'm going to collect my remainders from bottom to top. I get 44. Therefore, 68 in base 10 is equal to 44 in base 16. And then what you can do, um, now that you can do these by hand, you can find one of the online converting tools and you can just check your answer. So let's convert from decimal to binary. Our decimal number we're converting is 68 and that gives me 1000100. Zero, 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 one, zero, zero. That's indeed what we got in binary. Um, if we want to convert now to hex, our number 68 in hex was 44. That's what we got. If we want to convert from decimal to octal, we can find that over here. Our decimal number was 68 and converting to octal was 104. And that is indeed what we got from our calculations by hand.